Hey everyone, it's me, Jen. In today's video, I am going to show you how I upload a shirt image to my store. So, from Printify, because that's what I use. And they do a very good job. And if you haven't checked them out, just click the link below, because I'll put it in there for you guys to check out. Okay? Well, let's um, get to it. So, open your browser. First off, in order to figure out what size you need, you need to go to your print-on-demand. Printify, in this case. Alright, so we're going to upload a shirt to my store. Let's figure out what size of pixels I will need to do that. Okay, so we go to the catalog. And I'll show you what shirt that I like to use. Sorry about the slow loading. All right. So, under products, all products, and it says bestseller right here. That's what I like to use. Unisex jersey, short sleeve tee. So click on that. And this is how you find what size pixels you need before you start your design, okay? So, right down here, here's all the print people that you could use. Print services, I use DJ right here. And I put, because they have all these different colors also, so start designing. And down here, this is how you'll find how many pixels you need, right there. 4,500 by 5,700. So now I will go to PicMonkey because that's what I use. I use PicMonkey and Canva. I find those to be the best and very user friendly. So now let's create a new design. Blank canvas. And go up here to custom design. Now, I put 450 by 570 because Pick Monkey in pixels does not go up to 4500 by 5700. So, when I go and resize this in a different program, I will only have to add a zero to the end. So, let's make it. Let's name it. A proud daughter of a veteran. Take the blank out. Create. All right. Now, whenever you make an image for a design image, first off, it's going to have to export in PNG. Make sure it's a PNG file. And second, in PicMonkey, you can go to the background to the left over here. And transparent right here. Just click that box and press apply because that's what you're going to have to do. So that the white doesn't show up on your shirt like, at all. Just the design. So I already got mine. So let's add an image from computer. And we'll do this one. How daughter of a veteran. Open. And it comes out like this size. I like to just stretch it out a little. Let's see. Oops. Okay, right there. Uh, okay, yeah, there. There we go. Make sure it's on point. Okay, there we go. So you can pretty much do whatever design. Just make sure it's 450 by 570 size in PicMonkey. Okay, export this. PNG. See over here? Do PNG and then press export to computer. Okay, after you've done that, minimize this. Go over to paint.net. If you don't have that, I totally recommend getting it because it's just 
like Photoshop, but free. And donate to them because it's only free because of donations. So, and it's really good. So, open paint.net. Okay, go to file. Go to open. And go to your 450 by 750. Open. Now, to resize this image, we just go up to here, image, resize, and where it says width, 450, delete that, put 4,500. See? 4,500 by 5,700. Now, in any design that you do and you put on any product, it has to be at least 300 DPI. So your resolution changed to 300. Make sure it's on pixels and inch, and then you press OK. And that makes it 300 DPI. So, file, save, or you can press Control plus S. Control S and it will save for you. Bring it up. Okay, once you've done that, press OK. And it'll save the image in the right size. And then you exhale. And then you come back to your browser. Go to Printify. Really no longer need that. And then, because we already opened the shirt and got it every open and everything. Let's just add the design to that. So, add your design. See, I already have it up here. Because you go to New Upload, and then you try Upload from Device, and that's how you would add your design. Okay? In whatever file or folder. Here, I'll just do it. So, Upload from a Device, and then here's a proud Daughter of a veteran. It's now 4,500 by 5,700. So, open and it will upload it. Once that, select and let's preview right here. And when you go on do this in Printify, they will only let you upload 100 variants. So you should go in here and take out some colors right here, up here where this icon is. I can't talk right now. Excuse me. Um, go here, take out extra small. I don't usually do extra smalls. Um, X2, X3. And then over here, you'll see 188. This is how you can tell how many variants you have. So take out a few colors. Take out black, because you're not going to need black with black writing. So let's do that now. Let's see, I'm 168. I really don't like the darker colors for this design anyway. So let's take out all those. Red is pretty cool. All right, it's at 120, so let's do blue, 108, there we go, 100, now save. And these are pretty much all the colors that it will come in, or watch, press preview again, and it uploads it to what you've chosen. Okay, go back to edit, go to net, oh well, first, sorry, check your DPI, Good resolution, should say good resolution, 300 DPI. Then press next. And then select what color of shirt you want to show on the front when you upload it to your store. I want to show, let's do pink. Okay. All right, and now let's press next. Okay, so I'll just put unisex jersey. Proud 
daughter of a veteran. I'll make the product tile much longer when after this video. I will also be putting a product description after this video. Okay, so let's press next once you've done both of those. And then you can just choose your price. So, for these, since they cost all the same, I just could do $21.95. And then press next. And then once you have got your shop all set up through Printify, all you have to do is publish product to your Etsy store or whatever store you have. Um, and then shop shipping profile, you select that. Printify shipping cost is what I have it under. And then publish and save. And there you go. That's how you do it. And you just wait till it um, publish in store. Very quick, sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it's really quick. See in store. Let's get rid of that. And we might have to, let's see. Yep, yeah, there it goes, right there. And that's how you do it. I hope this video helps. If it has helped you, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment if you have any questions. I will put them, I will answer them, sorry. If you have any video requests, I will be gladly to try and do one for you. Um, yeah, you all have a great day. Check my store out. I will put it in the comments, in the descriptions, excuse me, along with all the other links for this video and my passive income because we all know that passive income is the way to go today. So, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day and peace out.